check the map and tell me what it says? You have to say map. Say map, say map. <laughs> Hey you Stygian dogs, many a great quest begins with the promise of adventure and the mystery of places unseen as guided by a map. And there's nothing like a map to build out worlds of imagination to ground our heroes in, to provide a sense of scale, of place, of time, and to permit ourselves a deeper immersion as we engage with lands both foreign and fantastic. Now, many months before the release of the current monthly Conan the Barbarian series, Fred Malmberg teased fans with images of Francesca Burrell's in-progress work on a map of the Hyborian Age, and the promise that a poster-sized version would one day be available. Beyond Malmberg's teases, the first good look at the full finished map was the wraparound cover for issue number one. Eventually, the A1 poster-sized version became available for purchase last October. I found myself the lucky recipient of the map by way of a contest hosted by Francesca Barold. And I find it hard to believe, but I've had this sitting unopened since the end of last November. I guess I've been busy and I think it's time we open it together. But before we do, I just got something else in the mail and I'm excited to check it out and share it with all of you. So let's tend to that first. Truth be told, I knew this was heading my way. YouTuber and Conan fan Lion from his channel, Hobbies of a Man, had made the pilgrimage to Howard Days in Cross Plains, Texas, held this year, June 7th and June 8th. Be sure to check out his video overview of the event and definitely subscribe to his channel. He'd reached out to me to say that he'd grabbed a few items to send me in the mail. We start with a Howard Days 2023 Cross Plains, Texas bookmark, 100 years of weird tales. Oh, and this is nice. Jim Zub's signature on an illustration from Roberto De La Torre advertising the new series. And what's this? It's a postcard reproduction of Weird Tales featuring Wolf's Head by Robert E. Howard, with the added bonus of some pretty special inscriptions on the back. So first, the Wolf's Head for the Stygian Dog from Hobbies of a Man. And then, hey you Stygian Dog from Jeff Shanks and Crom Cares Not for Thee or Any of Us Stygian Dog signed by Jim Zub. So I've got to say that's pretty freaking cool. Taking a closer look, you can see the postmark Robert E. Howard Station, June 7, 2024, Cross Plains, Texas, 76443. REH writing table. And as it declares on the postcard, Wolf's Head was the first Weird Tale story by Robert E. Howard to receive a blurb on the cover, as well as striking cover art by E. M. Stevenson. Added to the mix are a couple of other really cool bookmarks, Howard Days 2023 and Howard Days 2019. And last but certainly not least is a lovely note from the man himself, Lion from Hobbies of a Man. Hey you Stygian dog, we missed you at Howard Days 2024. Hopefully you get a chance to come by next year. I found these nice bookmarks and thought you might like them. Plus, I got Jim to sign one for you. Hopefully, this finds you happy and safe and brings you some measure of excitement. Lion from Hobbies of a Man. Thank you so much to Lion from Hobbies of a Man for this incredibly thoughtful gesture and gift. It really means so much to me. It's truly appreciated. And it's a wonderful testament to YouTube and its potential for community building. So once again, a sincere thank you. I'm full of gratitude for it. I'll be welcoming Hobbies of a Man to Stygian Dogs, where we'll speak about his time at Howard Days. Be sure to check out his video. We'll talk about Conan and we'll reflect on the first year's run. Now, let's open something else. There are many maps of the Hyborian Age, all of them based on Robert E. Howard's original sketches. This simple version appeared in the early Marvel years, eventually developing into this more detailed version we see in the official handbook of the Conan universe from 1986. These are just a few examples. Basically, if you open a Conan comic or novel, you're bound to encounter a map of the Hyborian Age. And Francesca Burrell's is certainly among the very best versions, and I can't wait to see what it looks like in large scale. Okay, here we go. I thought it would be wrapped in plastic on the inside, but it was not. There's foam packing in the middle. I'm afraid to open it. I do have a frame for it, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, it smells nice. <laughs> it 
Perhaps we'll look at it this way and then I'll put it in a frame. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> I know it's gonna be hard to see on camera, but it's divine. And there we are. It's hard to get a great look at it because of the glare from the lights. And I do need to acquire a new frame. This one is a little ill-fitting, so I do need to procure a proper A1 sized frame. But if there were any doubts, know that it is fantastic. It's clear that the camera doesn't do the map justice, but trust me, it's awesome. And obviously you're gonna have to go buy one for yourself. Now, I just need to figure out where I'm gonna hang it up. Thank you so much to Francesca Barold. I'm so glad I got around to opening it. Thanks for watching, liking, consider subscribing. Join me as I welcome Hobbies of a Man. I'll take a look at issue number 12 of Conan the Barbarian, delayed a week, coming out next week, plus the Savage Sword of Conan number three. And until next time, take it easy, you stitching dogs.